Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingwebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create categories in PrestaShop. To start, simply go to your dashboard. Now prior to creating categories, you should check whether your category sizes are correct and the way you want them to be or for example, if you plan to upload images to your categories, you'll want to make sure that those images are actually uh, the right width and the right height. So what you can do is you can go to Preferences, Images, and then right here where it says Category Default, this is basically the size of your category images. It's 870 pixels in width by 217 pixels in height. To change this, you simply go to Edit, and you can change the width and the height. And as you can see, this is set on categories. You really don't want to change this because these images are basically only used for the category. So to create a category, simply go to Catalog and click on Categories here. And then simply click on Add New Category. And here you can give your category a name. If you want this to be a root category, for example, if you want it to be an actual category and not a subcategory of a different category, what you want to do is you basically want to have it on root here and home. And here simply enter in the name of your category. For example, mine is going to be menswear. Next, simply enter in the description, which is optional. As you can see, you can also add an image and video to the description, and you can even stylize the text. In my case, I'm just going to add a description. As for the image, this is where you add your image. As for the meta title, this is the title of your uh, category page. This basically shows up here in the browser title and this also shows up in Google in search results. This is basically the part that Google highlights as the link. Since I will be using the name for the meta title, I'll just leave it as is because uh, PrestaShop is actually going to autofill this section right here. Of course, if you want the meta title to differ from the name, this comes in handy, so this is up to you. As for description, you can add your own description if you'd like. Uh, personally, I would enter in my own because since this might contain uh, HTML, a meta description should not, so here you can enter in whatever you'd like. This is basically used by robots. For example, Google uses this information as well as uh, Bing, as well as Facebook and Twitter. They use uh, this information uh, to display text on their site. The meta keyword should describe the category. Note that this has been depreciated by many search engines, so this is up to you whether you'd like to use it, but personally, I don't believe this helps much these days. If you do plan on using them, though, separate them with a comma. If you have multiple languages, you can obviously enter in uh, the text for the other language by simply selecting the language like so. And here you can choose the group access. For example, do you want this to be visible by visitors, guests, and customers, etc. You basically choose who you'd like to be able to see this information. And then click on Save. And now to add a subcategory, simply click on Add New Category. And in this case, I'm going to add shirts. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the parent category, which will be my menswear category. So I'll simply collapse all, and I'll click on menswear. And in the future, if you want to add another subcategory to shirts, you basically just choose shirts, and uh, that category will be added to that subcategory as a subcategory. And here's my image, and again I'll leave meta title empty, and I'll enter in the description. And here I'll add keywords. And again, the group access, I'll leave this category visible to all. And then I'll click on save. Now, if you ever want to disable a category, you simply click here and you disable it so that it's not visible in your store. And as you can see, the category has been disabled. 
this is actually a good thing to do if your category is empty because you don't really want that category displayed in your store unless it contains products because if it actually is empty and visible in your store it will be useless to your visitors so it will not create a good user experience for them now to add these categories to your navbar here simply go to modules that is if you're using the stock theme and then go to front office features as I have and personally I like to uh, filter by installed modules and enabled this way I'm only shown the modules that are actually enabled and it's easier for me to find what I'm looking for so here's my top horizontal menu so I'll configure and I'll simply add menswear to the nav by clicking on the add button here and I'll click on save and now when I refresh I have the menswear link here and if you'd like to reorder this link simply click up like so or down that is and when you refresh you will see the new order of the category so when we click on this category you can see our category image up here and you can see our subcategory over here so basically that's how categories work thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com